Hi, my name is Jordan Bucken, and I'm going to be doing your video walkthrough of the 2021 Airstream Caravel 22FB. Uh, we have this thing ready to go for you. I have the lights on so you can see everything in motion. Now, I'm actually going to start on the outside, start at the front, then go along the off-door side all the way around, showing you the awnings, the window awnings, and everything to see. Let's begin. And we're going to begin, like I said, right in the front. This is your electric tongue jack. Very simple, very easy. You have an up, you have an out, a down, and then you have an on light and the off light. Very simple to work that, super easy. You get even a little level up top to make sure you are level up your, at your campsite. Um, this right here is your propane tanks. I'm gonna lift this up, there's a little latch on the back here. You'll see there's two propane tanks inside. This is gonna be your regulator in there uh, and plus, your propane tanks, just like you have at home, of course, open and closed, lefty loosey, righty tidy, nice and easy to work. That is an auto change regulator, I should mention. So as soon as one of your tanks empty, it is going to automatically swap taking propane out of the other tank as long as it is open. So keep that in mind as well. Closing this off, nice easy latch it back up. Of course, for safety, it's nice and secure for the wind. This down here, open that up for you. This is your battery compartment. So you'll see your two batteries are ready to go, wired up, nice and easy. Uh, the only other thing to mention about this area is actually over on this side. Um, I'll actually swap with you here because you'll see that it, there is a portable solar panel plug-in that is wired straight to your batteries. Nice and easy to use. You lift up that port there, plug in your portable solar panel. You might just need an adapter, but that is super easy to get, it's nice and simple. Uh, the other thing to show you up front, of course, is this right here. Open this up. Uh, so nice and easy. There's two latches here. This opens up your screen here. So I'm going to tighten this back up on the left-hand side. Keep it open. Now, you got to remember, like I wasn't doing, lefty loosey, righty tighty. You kind of want to keep your hand there just in case. Level it off here, lefty loosey, righty tighty. You got that window wide open. When we go inside, it's going to change the look in there. It's gonna darken, this actually darkens it up. So at night, it's nice to close this. When you're at your, you know, laying on your bed and you wanna see a little more openness, it is still nice, just allow it to breathe. And of course, we'll talk about the windows after. Come on along here. I'm going to start you right up front here, where uh, right off the rock guards, you're going to see this component right here. This is your hot water tank. Like that. Give it a little open there. Now, this, of course, is the on-demand hot water tank, so it's nice and easy to use. Uh, it's very simple in here. There's a couple things to keep an eye out for you. There's this right here in the right-hand side corner, which is the pressure relief valve. You might see some uh, water driplets or steam coming out of there if it does need to release that pressure, of course. Nice and easy, a nice fuse. Uh, if, you know, you're having an error or anything with your tank, might just need to, to check the fuse. Of course, then there, there is this button right up top, which is the on and off switch. So there is another one internally inside the Airstream itself, but you have to make sure that this switch is on for that one to actually engage. So uh, a nice thing to double check just in case. And of course, you have your exhaust right here as well. Match that back up there. Sometimes that gasket, you got to make sure that gasket goes around this metal piece here, or else it doesn't latch properly. But there you go. Uh, going a little bit further along the side here, this right here is your fresh water fill. Open it back up for you to see. Stick a hose in there, fill your fresh water tank. When it is full, this is actually a little overfill spot, so it is going to come streeting out of there. So uh, just keep an eye on that. Of course, when you are filling, you do have that reader on the inside to let you know as well. Key lock right there, nice and easy. Right below is your furnace exhaust. So that is going to blow hot air. So you want to make sure you don't lean any chairs. And of course, be careful of that area. Uh, super easy to work. It's all on the inside, of course, as well. Going along the other, the, the, uh, continuing on the outside, I should say, sorry. This right here. I have it plugged in with a smart plug. That is uh, something that comes with this Airstream here. Nice and easy to work. It actually looks like a, a real plug, 
which you can squeeze these and plug it in and out. Gives you a little light to make sure you know it's plugged in. Uh, this port right here, close that off. That's going to be your cable and satellite plug-in. So if your campsite does have cable, you can wire it in right there nice and easy. Close it back off to keep it nice and secure. Right beside it, of course, is going to be your outdoor shower. So hot and cold nozzle, a shower port that comes in and out. Quite nice to use if you're, you know, washing the dog off or really if you just want to wash the shoes off or any camp material you have that doesn't want to go inside before it's washed off. Great, great item there. Uh, two more things before we get down to the bottom here. And this is going to be your city water, which is going to be if you are connected to a site you're going to want to connect here. Now, most sites are gonna require you use a white and blue hose to show that you're using a clean water hose that has a filter in it. Um, also, a water pressure regulator is recommended as you want to make sure that you're not getting up 100 PSI pushing to the trailer. You wanna bring it to uh, around 45. Uh, right below it is your tank water flush. So what that does is you hook up a water hose to that, you spray it inside, uh, open it up, of course, and that's going to spray your black tank, which is your toilet water. Um, to do that, you want to make sure that your, tank, your black tank is emptied first and also make sure that uh, everything is drained out and then have the actual line open there. So talking about that, we're just going to go down here. You'll see that this has a black handle and a gray handle there. This is your outlet, of course. So you open that up, hook on your hose, stick it into the ground. You might require a lock in there. Um, nice little light right here in case it is dark outside. Uh, so to empty this out, of course, you want to give this handle a nice little pull. Empties out the black tank first, which you always want to do. And then uh, gray is always nice to do right after that. Cleans out the hose. But don't forget, you have that black tank flush too. So if you want to get that black tank nice and washed out, leave that tank open, flush it all out, have that water come out crystal clear. And um, for your sewage hose, when you're all done, you can actually store it right in that little compartment underneath your outdoor shower there. Uh, nice and easy. We do give you a sewage hose to start you off with as well, of course. Uh, that I have in a different compartment right now. Now, I wanted to draw your attention to above now. So this right here is your awning your window awning here i'm gonna grab our special airstream broad here so on this window awning there is a little latch here that you just gotta make sure you're nice and gentle with pop it open there that unlocks it for travel or sorry not for travel for but locks it for travel unlocks it for use uh this vent right here which i have the uh the stick to that is your vent for your stove so if you're cooking uh, you want to make sure there's two little tabs in there that you actually open up and uh, let the air out. It's hard, it might be hard to see in the video, but once you see it in person, it becomes pretty clear there. So once you're cooking, have that fan on. You wanna make sure you have that. So just make sure, give us a nice pull. There's a lot of tension to this, so you do wanna be careful. Grab this rope, of course, when you uh, are getting close to the end. It's nice and easy, I can put that back on the ground. Put this up right here. Like I said, there's tension to this. So that's the way it sits, nice and easy there. You can see all you got to do is just hold it right there. And this covers the awning, gives you a nice little bit of shade so you don't have that sun glaring in on the outside there. Um, I'm going to leave this like this because I'm going to show you how to close the back one here because I actually have that one already out. One more thing before we move on to the back, though. This right here is your jack. So you're going to have uh, your stabilizer jacks on all four corners. You have this right here, which is going to be able to crank it down. All you do, put that right there, give it some cranks. It's going to lower all the way down to the ground. I'm not going to bother doing that for the video right now, but just wanted to show you how that works. Now, moving on to the back of your caravel, you'll see that you have a nice storage spot right here to let you get by so that you have more room to look. So nice storage. I actually had this stored in there. You can store wherever you want. Of course, in that section, it's nice and uh Sturdy here, you know, you don't have to worry about getting, if you have anything dirty, it's nice to put it in there so it's just out of the way. This one is going to be a little bit different and that's why I wanted to show you this in person. These right here is what is actually holding the window awning in place. So I have two of those on either side. What you wanna do is 
give this a nice little pull. These now come loose. They sit kind of right down here for now. Once the actual awning is put away properly, they sit a little better. So like I said, you easily just lift it up. When you have this awning, you're placing it out, you let it sit in there. Place it back down here. Then you just let it smoothly, slowly go out. You wanna make sure you don't let go of this because then it's gonna slam. You know, smoothly, smoothly go in. I'm gonna use this rub because I'm not quite tall enough. Let's sit like that. You always wanna make sure you see the little lip of the string here sticking out or else you won't be able to get this right in there. Uh, now, going above that, you'll see that there is a camera up there. So that is your wireless backup camera. Your monitor is actually in the Airstream right now, which we can uh, help you set up when you actually come and pick up the Airstream there. But uh, so far it's pretty easy, right? Now we're moving on to the actual door side. So you have those two corner jacks on the outside here to help you stabilize, of course. This right here is actually going to be for your main door. So once you open your door, it's going to latch in there to keep it on the side so you're not going to have any wind problems. The one thing about this side, you do get the storage area in the front, of course. Uh, right now I have uh, just your extra sewage hose in there right now. And you do get a nice area there. All right, now to show you the awning. So these awnings do take a couple uh, pieces to set up. So let's start with... This side over here, each side will have this spin wheel here. This is actually what locks the awning down for when you're traveling. I've already undone that one to just make it easier for the video. This one here, you can do it two ways. Take your rod here, there's holes in each side and you just give it a nice few spins or if you really want to make it super easy, you reach it just by the door. Give it a nice couple twirls here. You'll see it's actually unlocked now. Pull it with your hand. That's the easy way to do it. Of course, a little trade secret there. We're gonna close the door back off. So now, this is very important. I am going to unlock it just like the other side here. Put this rod here. There we go. Now, again, very important. This We wanna make sure once you hook it in there, that you pull it gently towards you and you grab onto the rope because you don't want to let that thing accidentally slip out and slide, uh, slam into the side of the airstream there. So pull it towards us, nice and easy of course. You grab onto the rope when it is close to you. In there, I don't need the stick anymore. This will actually be able to roll up here and get right out of the way. I'm gonna tuck underneath it. There's a little latch right here. It's hard to see from the video, but tuck your, uh, tuck your rope right under there when it becomes time. Right now, I still wanna hold on to this because you know, as you can see, if I start to let go, it, it wants to roll back. So I wanna hold on to it, give it still a little bit of tension. This right here, you wanna unlatch, you wanna take and attach to the top. This is what's gonna hold your Airstream uh, awning to extension loads so here. So I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other side. Clip that in right there. Now it's time to actually set up the awning and extend it. So we don't really need to hold that actually onto the rope anymore because those awning arms are going to be secure for it. The next thing you want to do is you want to give this a little bit of tension to pull it and latch it in. So you want to make sure you don't grab this nice skinny silver part here because you that's the way you're pulling. You don't want to pinch your hands there. Pull it right here. Give it a nice little pull. That's tensioned in. You see it didn't actually really move after that. Gives it a little bit extra force there. Same thing to the other side. Nice and sturdy. It's right there. And then oh, I'll come back over here to show you what I'm going to do. So this is actually how you set up the pitch of your awning. So this little knob right here, you want to pull this out. So this is there's going to be holes along here with different settings on how the pitch can be. So the easiest way to do that is grab your tube, pull this out with your thumb, pull up. You'll see there's pull right there. We're going to make it to the next one here. Once you grab this, it's going to find the next hole right there. So you'll see now I have part of your awning out. Um, the nice thing about it is if it's, say, raining outside and you want your awning to cover you a little bit, you can actually have the pitch 
So the water runs off to one side. Now, of course, it is super rainy uh, or, and very heavy rain, very heavy wind. You want to make sure that you do push your awning back in. Ooh, just locked it in there. So uh, like I said, I can lock it in on different pitches. So once your awning is uh, out, gets a little bit of a tricky. There we go. Finding that one hole can be a little bit tough because you really got to find it just perfectly there. Just like that, your awning is all ready to go. Like I said, this one you could have tucked in there so it's nice and easy to put away. I leave it out when I'm just putting the awning in out because I'm going to be grabbing it in a minute here. So now putting the awning away. Super easy to do. Uh, it's just doing it exactly backwards here. So grab this little knob here, unloosen it. Feed it back in. Of course, you want to watch your hands from these holes here. You grab up here, it's safe because it's going to lock into this hole. That's your last hole there. You can nice watch that. Leave that right there. Do the other side. There you go. Then, of course, you have these poles here that you want to unlatch. So do this. It's because I've extended it. You can see a little bit there. It's nice and easy if you just give this a little back pull down here and then walk back over. Loosen it. As a little holder place right back in here. Perfect. Remember, do not let go of this now that you're putting your awning away. Like snip. Put it back in its holder here. You can see this holder is just on a little screw that sticks out. You'll see it's a, some nice markings on there for this. Then you want to make sure that you're putting this back when it is nice and straight. You don't want it on an angle or else you might lose the end of this in the awning roll. So as I said, you're just going to let it go back nice and straight. I'm going to grab my rod down here because once I get to the point that I cannot reach, you just hook it onto the, the rod there. Slowly and gently let it sit back up there. Lock it from travel. Easy, draw it out of there. This, of course, like I said, you can do it by hand or you can do it by this way. I'm gonna lock it back up. I like to give my awning arm a little bit of a squeeze so that when I'm tightening it, it really gives it a little bit of the extra tightness there. That's is that's gonna be the most part to get used to right there, especially using this just delicately going around. You want to do that, of course, to both sides there. I'm going to save us a little bit of time in this video and uh, move you on into the inside. Nice and solid door, of course. We're going to go right here and latch it into that spot that I uh, was talking about earlier. Now that you're inside, I'm going to actually show you this. This is your screen door. Locks it into place there. Nice and easy. You have this sliding piece right here so that you can access or block it off if you like. The latch right here. Super nice, well built. I'll set back up. Okay. So now, nice and easy to use. Uh, pretty much everything in here is pretty self functioning. You just have to look at it, push a couple things, and you're ready to go. Right when we walk in the door, we have a couple buttons to hit here. Battery disconnect. This right here is going to be controlling all the power that comes into your airstream. You hit this store you, uh, button, if you, which is facing, uh, basically hit down, it's going to shut down all of the power that is going into this unit. Everything, you just hit that. So whenever uh, you park it, whenever you store it, whenever you're really not using the trailer at all, hit it to store. Saves your battery life, really helps out. This right here is an outdoor light, of course, the, uh, the awning light. Then you have these right here. Um, these lights are going to be, as you can see, inside lights here. And then if you hold your thumb on it, which I don't know if it's easy to see in the video, but it actually dims the light. So you can uh, dim it to make it nice. And, you know, if you're watching a movie or something like that, it's nice to dim the lights a little bit. Still have a few on, of course. Uh, yeah, that's all right there. There's a fire extinguisher, of course, at the door as well for a one-time use. You've got some ho uh, hooks for your coats. You have a nice uh, sign here so that you can... Uh, write your notes, say if you want to have a grocery list, it's good to write it down on there. Super easy, super functional. Now, 
Let's start right in the back, and then we'll go right all the way around here to make it nice and easy. I'm going to open this. This is your bathroom door, of course. As you saw there, it's a little little sliding latch. Super easy and sturdy. Leave it just like that. Um, I'm going to jump, jump in there. So I'm going to open a few things up here. This is just your shower. I'm going to pop out there and let you see that. Tons of room in there, of course. Uh, you're going to notice that you have a lot of space and even a seat in the corner, which is just great. It's not much. I'm going to be able to show you uh, in this portion. Of course, you have your mirror, which has a lock, so you can pull it out. Uh, the sink, pretty functional, you know, on and off. I'm going to just hop back in here, though, because I am going to show you the window back here, because this is the, really the easiest window to access without me... Uh, to crawl into everything here. So this is your blinds. Uh, you're all going to have this in all, all your windows in here. This right here, you'll see there's a little piece down here that actually latches in right just like that. Night out or blackout shade, of course, super helpful. Goes right back up. These right here are your locks. So you want to undo these each time. Give it a little turn. You can see there's a little holder in there for them. See that loosens the window. Then there's these knobs right here. What you do, I'm going to try and stay out of your way, but you... There's three portions for the windows. That's one, of course. There is two right there. So as you can see, it's tons of airflow coming through these. But then come back one more, even up one more higher. So that right there is maximum airflow coming into this. It's super nice. That, of course, is a tinted window, so you don't have to worry about that. But just super nice to have everything open. You have the windows all across here. Then when you're all done, just turn this, latch them back up here, close that, close that. The window is latched and good. You can't move it from now on. Um, there is a couple more things in here that I just want to show you. I'm just going to turn it all on here, kind of get out of the way. I'm going to talk about the top part here. This is your uh, Vitron Energy Controller. So you'll see right now, it's, it's hard to see actually in the video, but it says batteries at 13 volts right now. Uh, I am plugged in, so that is going to be a little bit of a mystery there. When you are uh, out camping, you can actually go through this and cycle through to see what your uh, readings are at there. Uh, this is one of the most important things in the unit. This is going to tell us what our battery percentage is at, 13.2, pretty close. Uh, fresh water, 100% right now. I have antifreeze in the system for, uh, for that reason, of course. Um, gray water, black water, same kind of thing. You hit that. 94% gray, uh, again, antifreeze in the system. Black water right there. You can tell what your readings are at for percentages. This button right here is your water pump. Um, that is going to allow you to source water from your water tank into all the water lines. So, you know, I wouldn't leave that on all the time. Push it on when you want to eat source water out of your water tank. If you are sourcing water out of your, uh, out of the city water, you don't need that function. So just when you're off sourcing your tank. This is your water heater here. Uh, right now it's just an on and off button there. And then you can change the uh, the temperature nice and easy. I got an error code because I completely forgot to turn on the propane before I hit the button to kind of show you guys. So that is something that um, is easy to reset. You basically turn on your propane, go on the outside, flick that on and off button that we saw on the outside of your tank there. Because that right there, like, like I said, that's that central hub. It will reset everything in here, and it will go back to, to working normal. So there's a little hint in case you forget to turn on your full pane and try to source it. Hit this right here, just a light. All it is in there, nice and easy. So let's take a look. Oh, actually, sorry, forgot to show you your toilet. Pretty functional, you know, classic little toilet there with the, uh, the flush on the right-hand side or left-hand side uh, if you're sitting down on it, halfway flush, get water in the bowl, full step, flush it down, okay? Close the door back up, we take a peek in this closet area here. Of course, you have tons of space in there. A light, of course, I have uh, a couple things in there down below right now, which is gonna be your manuals, uh, your propane, uh, an extra propane key, and that uh, monitor for your backup camera, which is easy to set up, it's all. Um, Bluetooth there, or sorry, wireless. Um, getting into the kitchen entertainment area, I'm actually going to start right at the bottom here. 
So right below the fridge, we have two things. This is going to be your uh, propane uh, detector there. So in case that ever sends a pro uh, propane leak or anything, that's going to go off, of course. This right here is going to be your fuses and breakers. Uh, of course, breakers, just like your house, fuses, they're going to be more along the lines of like car fuses. Um, you definitely want to carry some extra ones with you in case you do, say, uh, pop a fuse or running too many things off of uh, a too low a power. You know, it's you don't want to have to uh, call a sh trip short because for some reason you can't get your fridge to work because a fuse popped or something, right? Uh, speaking of your fridge, there's a little latch right here. Just push that off to the side. If you are traveling, bring it back over just in case. Of course, uh, nice size fridge there with a little bit of freezer up there. Keep it nice and cold. Uh, this is pretty uh, easy to work. There isn't much really to the fridge. Like I said, you want to make sure you close it back off there. Uh, we're going to be taking a look back up top here. I'm just going to sneak in front because first off, I'm going to show you this stuff here. Then I'm going to move the TV out of the way and show you a few things. Uh, this three controls are going to be for your TV. This right here, you'll see there's a little green light. And uh, right beside, it's going to be hard to see. There's a little black button. There is the King Antenna up on the roof. Once you have this button engaged, you'll see if I click it, it turns off. If you have it engaged, we're going to actually be able to source uh, some free channels depending where you are. It could be you know five channels. It could be ten channels. It always depends where you are, but it's super nice in case you're out in, uh, in the bush and just want to have a little TV on in the background. Nice to just have that option. Uh, this right here is your uh, inverter. So uh, your control for the inverter, I should say. Nice and easy to use. It's going to basically give you a similar reading to the battery, like the other controller there. Tell you what the battery reading's at. 12.7, 120 volts, of course, right now. And then you have your on and off button for the unit itself. So Say if you're wanting to uh, run your TV off your batteries, you just have to turn on your inverter here by uh, pushing, of course, the button, and that will transfer it over. This string right here is the latch for the TV. I am just going to pull it out of the way because this is fully adjustable. I'm just going to step in front here and get it right out of the way. Uh, to show you this right here, this is your Dometic uh, AC and furnace control. Turn that on. Uh, we're gonna go to zone or sorry mode. Uh, you'll see cool, which is gonna be your AC coming out of the roof vents, of course. Um, then we're gonna go to auto, which is gonna be your auto fan. And then you got your heat pump, which is gonna be through your AC as well. Uh, changing the temperature is on the left and uh, right dial there. You can program it, set the time, set a fan. Uh, it's nice to have the furnace is also on here again. Change your temperature up and down, of course. Uh, inside temperature is going to say that we're 9 degrees in here right now, so we can always use some extra heat. Fahrenheit, Celsius, nice and easy to change depending on how you like it. Like I said, the program is really a good button because if you want the furnace to turn on at 8 a.m., it is super nice to do. Uh, I'm going to turn all that off because we don't want to, uh, we don't need any of that going right now. Super easy to function. Just play around with it a little bit. There is tons of videos on that online too. Uh, now, to start with your kitchen here, of course, three burner stove, uh, like I said, I didn't turn on the propane uh, as I forgot to do that before I hopped on in here. You'll see there is three little settings here. There's the light, there's the high and the low. Uh, once you do this, you just go to light, you'll start hearing it, of course, uh, catch on, or start trying to light, once I have the propane on, it would light up, put it on high, choose your setting from there, nice and easy. They uh they get pretty hot, so of course be careful. When you are cooking, you have two buttons up top here, which is the light, and then you have the fan. Remember on the outside, there is that vent uh, that you want to open up before you start cooking so that that fan actually is able to work and you know, pump that air outside. These up here, nice and easy slide storage, of course. Super easy to work there. Sink over here, Wide open sink, there's not much to kind of tell you about that. Uh, you know, you have your blind, of course, that I was talking about in the bathroom there. A nice little plug-in. Super easy. Lots of storage down below with your uh, your cutlery drawer right there as well and a garbage bin on the other side. Now, if we want to, of course, to uh, eat dinner, 
on your lovely table here. Say that uh, you uh, want to be able to get in a little bit easier. This does slide out, gives the person in the back a little bit more room if you have an extra person sitting in here. Um, now, this does make into a bed as well. So to do that, I'm going to bring you just down here. These two latches right here, which I have done up, you actually just loosen. Right now, you can see is tension, it's loose. I can push down on this table, I can move it around just like that. It's going to come back up if I don't lock it back down. So what you're going to do is you're going to push down on this, and then you're going to lock it. Now, before you do that, you want to make sure all the cushions are up and out of the way here. Uh, I'll give you a quick little kind of idea. You kind of just want to take off the Velcros here, stick them, you know, on the bed, out of the way, whatever you want there. Nice and easy. This just slides right out there. You'll see. I actually wanted to move this so that you can see this. There is storage underneath these as well. So nice and easy to access. Awesome. Close that back off. Now you want to do this for every side. And then, like I said, you push down that table. You lock it up when it's down all the way below. And then you have these pieces right here. So these pieces are usually at the end sitting like this. Of course, we want to give you the max amount of room. So you take this piece here. You'll see both of these, once you add them to the table, adds basically the weight or the size of the table lining up to the cushions. So you're going to be laying right across that when this is all set up. Super easy to do, very functional. If you have uh, an extra person sleeping with you, you know, if you got that guest that wants to come on by, stay for the night, you do have the room to help them out. Or you could tell them it doesn't make it to a bed, it's up to you. Let's just quickly throw this back on here. Look at easy. There's a Velcro there. Nice. So you have that window, of course, that you can open up there. This right here is your sky vent. It's nice to slide it right open. That is going to have one of the two fans in here. So you have one right by the bathroom door as well. Uh, what that does is uh, you have a couple different settings. There is the open and close right here. This fan will not turn on unless you have it open. So you want to open it back up, open it up here. And once it's open, like you can see, it just starts on. I actually set up to um, two for the dial right there. So it's gonna be the uh, second speed. If you hit it down to zero, it's gonna just be an open fan, of course. Uh, nice and easy. It really does suck up the air. And then when you're closing it back up here, fan is gonna turn right back off. So it's a super nice feature there to have. It really just gets that airflow out if you don't have access to run your AC. Super nice feature. Close it off if you want to completely block in the sunlight or block out the sunlight for when you're sleeping. Now, of course, you have this as well, which is going to help block off the way, especially if you have guests sleeping. Super nice. Uh, see, I think we're just coming down to the bedroom here. Uh, oh, yes. Right. Got one more thing here. This side here, this is going to be your DVD player and with your remote, of course. And then I'm gonna pop this off right here. Nice little hidden feature there. This is gonna be your JL audio speaker system. So turning that back on, we're getting some speakers. Now you might not be able to hear this in through my, uh, my actual headset and mic here. We can change it to FM, AM, of course. It's gonna be a great little feature there. Uh, there's different different settings, different menus, you know, Bluetooth, auxiliary, USB. It's all done right from there. Pull this button down to turn it off. Change the volume settings. It's super nice to have, you know, having a nice little breakfast or dinner. You want to have a little bit of music playing, background music, of course. It's super nice to have. It's a couple speakers in the roof. Um, that right there, that's just your smoke detector. I should probably mention that just so we don't forget. Uh, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to get you to pop in here and I'm going to take you a, a look down there. You'll see there's going to be that dimmer switch right there. Plus you're also going to have that 12 volt plug uh, right above it. So if you, when you do want to charge your phones, it's nice and easy there. Uh, of course your Airstream bed is nicely set up. Remember that with uh, that screen that I was talking about out front here, you can see it's nice and open. Now we can open up that front window too, because that screen door is open really allow for that uh, that air to come out and be a full cross breeze there. You'll see there's a window there you can open. There's a window on either side of your bend as you open. 
this is just super awesome because you have all of this uh, this brightness, this openness, and you can close it off as well with these shades for when you want to sleep. Now, I'm going to just uh, show you this one extra thing here because this is a safety feature, of course. This is your emergency window. So in case you ever need to get out, you, of course, you pull that to remove and you push that window out. Uh, there is just those safety locks down here, of course, like before, but it is definitely uh, something you want to have in every unit because the door, you know, in case anything happens, the door is a little bit farther away, so it's good to have that window there. So you'll see, I'm just going to open this, move out of the way. Well, there is storage with bins underneath the bed there. Super great if you want to uh, just get stuff right out of the way, all your clothes, if you want to put it in there instead. Super nice to just store up in there, put your bins, tie it up. Now, uh, I believe that is everything that we have gone over. If you have any questions, of course, my name is Jordan Bucken uh, here at Traveland RV. This is the Airstream. Uh, it's a 2021 Caravel 22 FB, a full video walkthrough. Again, here at Traveland RV. Thanks.